when will housing prices drop, right? It's a really popular topic on everybody's mind. It feels like we've been riding the seller's market for way too long. And if you are a buyer, I feel your pain, believe me. A perfect storm is the best way to describe this housing market. But you want to know how much longer is this going to go on? We'll find out right after this. This is Fear Popolevsky. I'm with Supreme Home Sales. As a Staten Island realtor, I love helping you navigate the home selling process. I'm so happy you're meeting with me today because the question, will housing prices drop is on your mind and you need some answers, right? Yeah, from coast to coast, we've seen record home prices appreciate of nearly 20%. From August 2020 to August 2021, but can't this be sustained? And more importantly, how long will this all be going oh, on? Honey. How long will this last? Overall, more home buyers are staying away from bidding wars. For instance, in October, approximately 60% of homes sold via the bidding war, compared to 74% in April. But buyers still had to overbid and fight for the houses. Does this mean prices are finally dropping? The Federal Reserve is looking to raise interest rates to keep up with inflation toward 4% maybe. Will this get home prices to drop? It will take some home buyers out of the market for sure, simply because some home buyers won't be able to qualify for a mortgage. The question is, is this enough to cause house prices to drop? Then Zillow stops their iBuyer program and got people excited because they thought Zillow has a crystal ball. And since they are not buying homes anymore, that means that the real estate market is going to crash. We know the truth about Zillow, okay? The real truth about why Zillow stopped buying homes because their estimate sucks. Keep in mind that all of these make complete sense and if we weren't behind on the available homes to meet buyer demand, then absolutely, it would make a valid assumption that we are going to see home prices drop, but we're not. By the way, if you want to know how we got to this crazy market and what needs to happen for home prices to drop, I did a video about will housing prices ever go down, you can watch it after this video. Why is there so much uncertainty in the marketplace? Everything scream real estate bubbles. But when you look at the numbers of new buyers entering the market like millennials who are in their 30s buying their first home, there won't be enough homes to even come close. We are so far behind on accommodating the housing demand that it does not look like home prices will drop anytime soon. What's, What's more likely to happen is less bidding wars and prices climbing to extremes like 20% in a year, but it's nowhere near a real estate market crash. The best thing for you to do if you were buying a house in the near future, do your best to save for a larger down payment this way you want, it won't affect the mortgage qualification when interest rates do rise. And if you are selling your house, make sure that you really have the need to move because you have another challenge on your, uh, on your hands, guys. It's competing with buyers who don't have to sell a house in order to buy a house. In conclusion, it's not fun on either side. Make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell and watch the next video YouTube recommend that you watch next. Thank you for meeting with me today. Check back on Monday.